Immature Gamer. Hey everyone, I'm Immature Gamer coming at you with another bomb spot, wall run, peak spot video. Um, it's kind of a video to help some of you guys out, some beginners, maybe even inter intermediate players that just kind of want to learn something. So we're on the map May Day. Um, you could see the bomb spots right there, target A, target B, and uh, I want to start off by first saying I'm using Synaptic and I am using um, his trait propulsion, which it just makes this video a little easier for me to show you stuff. You don't really need it for most of these wall runs, so just kind of disregard that. But just so you know, I'm also using Dead Silence, so that's why you're not really hearing me jump. But I'm just going to start off by just showing you what walls are runnable. So you can pretty much, I think, run on all, run on this whole building without touching the ground. Um, so, you know, this is a pretty small map, not nothing too crazy, nothing too too hard. I don't think you can run over here, so you, it's hard to run up here. But yeah, if you if you start here, you can run across the whole entire map. Um, I would definitely say if you're gonna play this map, try to stay as high as you can. Um, most most players are looking looking down you know they're not looking up so definitely gives you an advantage um, I'm I'm gonna stick to the outside right now and just kinda show you some some things I think that could help you so usually off the spawn and search and destroy anyway and, and this can be used you know in any any game type but I'm probably mostly gonna be talking about search and destroy everyone comes over here with the sniper tries to get some picks it's pretty popular. You'll also see a lot of people trying to hit this wall run and then come up under and, and try to get a few picks. Uh, you know, that's pretty well known. Uh, it might work, it might not, depending on the situation, but you know, I'm just going to assume you're very fairly new to this game, so. Um, I would probably stick away from doing this right off the rip unless you're pretty good at sniping. Um, so yeah, you know, just, you could also get in to this map on customs and just play around. I am going to show you a rush that I think is pretty, um, useful. So I kind of showed you the left side, what people are going to be doing off the start. Um, but on, on this side, you can run on this, t on this right side and come over here and get an advantage so that seems pretty simple but what I want to explain is people are going to be spawning on each side they're going to come over and they're going to try to pick they're also you know if you rush right at the start I'm going to see you cross the plane right here and going to try to get on this wall run. so I'm going to be watching I know you're going to be coming you know the vice versa on this side so what you should do is if you you know you're going to spawn over there or whatever you're gonna come over here hit this wall run so now he doesn't see you he hasn't seen you come over here then also try to get down here and get get low and then you're right here and you're probably you know there's gonna be a guy here head peek in or or whatnot so you know situational might work might not give it a shot um, let's go over the kind of the middle section wall runs you can pretty much hit all the wall runs in here and like I said if you're coming out or into this room I would highly re recommend getting up high get up here just because like I mentioned before they're gonna not really expect you coming coming in this room from way up there it will, it will definitely help you situationally but also I mean this is pretty well known but just in case to get to the other side of this room you can use this wall run I mean I know it's pretty simple some you're gonna say yeah duh but 
you know, some people might not know that. Um, so, anyway, you know, peak spots, you're going to see a lot of people, usually right here. They're going to be looking, trying to get picks from this room. You also see a lot of people on this side and on the other side up here. So these are just kind of like hot spots I would say a lot of people flock to. So uh, let's go over plant spots, kind of where I think you should plant the bomb, where you can kind of get out of harm's way and hopefully win around for your team, especially if you're kind of in a 1v2-3 situation. So I'm going to start off on B and then we'll end on A. So B is kind of... It's a good spot if you have if, if you plant with your full team. I think this is probably the best spot because you guys can guard it pretty easily. There's only two ways you gotta watch. You gotta watch here, and you gotta watch on this side. So I, I think if you got uh, numbers, I would plant on this side. Saying that, don't really matter where you plant it. I mean, you can kind of plant it here. I would plant it there, and then maybe you can sit in this little corner here and you'll be able to see your bomb. Uh, but just know that someone can come from from right there, there's a wall run. Uh, most likely someone, if they come around this corner, they're not gonna look all the way over here. But also, saying that, if they come on this back wall run, they are gonna, they, they might see you, but you also might see them by the time you, they engage, unless they're, they're pretty good. So, you know, that's, that's one plant spot. Then also, you can plant on this side of the bomb and kind of sit in this back room. This this isn't a bad play either. I kind of like this play more if you're kind of a 1v2, 1v3 situation. So I would s kind of just sit here, peak bomb. I sit back here, look, peak bomb. So, you know, B's nothing too crazy. Um, A's not that crazy as well, but I think um, if you're by yourself, it might be a little better. I'm going to show you about two spots I think are kind of beneficial. So just plant the bomb right here, kind of out in the open. And then just the stay moving. If you're by yourself, stay moving. Um, but but one thing you can do is you can kind of just sit in this room, check the bomb, kind of peek up here, check the bomb. I mean, I, there's a lot of openness and where enemies can come into so I don't like it that much but just know you can do that this is probably my favorite thing to do if I plant the bomb there is hit this wall run peek the bomb and run back again stay high up and just you can kinda peek the ball run peek the bomb while you wall run so yeah I think I think probably those are your best spots to plant the bomb that uh, will hopefully give you the win. So, this Simulus map is made. It's, it's really small, but um, I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you guys like these videos, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Amateur Gamer. I'm out.